up YouTube? Here today with this little short guy right here. Um, so I was gonna make a video about showing you guys how easy some things are. All right, a lot of people make excuses and have complaints and all this other stuff. Uh, who are you, little guy? I'm Johnny Turner. Okay, who are you? I'm my dad's son, just right here. I'm my dad's son. <laughs> Who's your dad? Steven Turner. What's your dad do? That's it. Because I'm a farm instructor, that's it. You guys believe that? I don't either. Alright, anyhow, today we're going to be letting this little rascal explain some things to you guys because I get tired of the excuses. And um, to be honest with you, he do not know he was going to be on video. Alright, and he doesn't know the topics that we're going to be talking about. Alright, because I didn't tell him. I didn't tell him person personally, I didn't tell him. I mean, purposely, because I wanted to see how he was going to handle everything and how he would explain it to you guys. Alright, unscripted, unedited. We have to make sure that <clears throat> he's teaching you guys uh, the right things that I'm going to give him topics on to see if he's just a good listener. Because again, this little man has not really had formal training from me. Besides one class he did run with me uh, with a student, which it, it wasn't training. It was just him on the range actually running through a uh, qualification course. All right. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to hand this little guy a my loaded Glock 19, which <coughs> has ammo. No, it's not fake ammo. It is real life ammo. All right. <coughs> I'm going to ask him to make this gun safe. Safely make this gun safe. What up? Explain, explain to the video what you're going to be doing. How do you make the gun safe? You press the button on the side. What's the button called? What do you just, what did you just take out of the gun? Magazine. Hold the gun up so they can see it. The gun, that's the gun. Okay. <clears throat> what are you doing with the muzzle right now? Point it to the ground. I don't, they don't understand what you're saying. Talk louder. Tell them, don't tell me. Point the muzzle away from you. What are you doing? I'm pointing the muzzle away from you. Okay. What did you just do? I took the magazine and the gun. How did you do that? I pressed the button on the side. What's the button called? What function did you just do? Press the safe button. There's no, no such thing as safe button. What did you just take out of the gun? Magazine. So what do you think that button might be called? Magazine button. It's a magazine release. Okay, put your leg down. Okay, hold the gun right like you're on it. Hold the gun like you're on it. Okay, what's the next thing you do with the gun to make it safe to remove ammo out of it? Stop. Ask the question. Rack it. Danny, tell them. You rack the gun. What's the, but what are you doing to make the gun safe? Tell them what you're doing. If there was a mouth problem, you would have to tell them 2 plus 2 equals what? So tell them exactly what you're doing. You pulled the top of the gun back. What's that called? Racking the gun. Racking the, you know the name of it? Muzzle. No. The slide. So you rack the slide. When you rack the slide, what happens? Stop. When you rack the slide, what happens? What's going to happen when you rack the slide? The top of the gun is going to go back. And? What's going to happen? Put your foot down. What's going to happen? Step over here. You keep sliding away from him. What's going to happen? Yeah. Alright, he's having a hard time explaining. The bullet is going to come out of the gun, making the gun empty, correct? Right. How do you know that's for a fact? Because it will come at you here. Now, you'll see it come. I don't know. How you know the gun is going to be safe once you do that? How are you going to know? Go ahead, that's it. Little uh, button on the side, it'll, be, it'll show you if it's safe or not. Okay, he's talking about the low indicator. Low indicator is going to be flush with the gun. Alright, go ahead and make it safe. Alright, <clears throat> check your little safety. I mean, check your, uh, what you call a little button. <laughs> Which side of the gun is on? Nope. Alright, so 
Swing away from trigger, sir. Turn this way with the gun. Okay, is the gun safe? Mm, yes, sir. How do you know? Because the button is facing. Talk to them so they can hear you. The button is up. That don't make any sense. All right, I'm confusing a little rascal. But, needless to say, he just cleared my gun. The gun is safe. I'm going to visually and physically inspect it for him. I'm going to put it back down and dry fire. All right? <clears throat> Although his explanation isn't perfect, he did everything he was supposed to do correctly. All right? He got a little uh, camera shyness going on that his dad doesn't have. All right, Johnny. So, the topic for today is this little 10-year-old kid is going to tell you guys how to shoot. Okay, I'm not going to, I'm trying not to butt in unless he kind of gets a little thrown off on what he's trying to say. Alright, what I want you to do, the, the camera lens is your target. Okay, I want you to explain to everybody how you shoot the gun if you wanted to put a bullet in that camera lens. And I want you to show them and then I want you to do it as if you were shooting at the camera. The floor is yours, sir. Tell them from step one. What do they got to do first? Make sure you hold the gun very tight. Okay, where your thumbs at? Your thumb put it back there? Alright. So the first thing you got to do is hold the gun tight. Yes, sir. What's that called? I don't know what it's called. What are you doing to the gun right now? It. Tell them, don't tell me. Grip the gun tightly. Okay. You face the muzzle at your target, and then you face the muzzle at your target. The, How do you shoot the, the lens? The Speak up so they can hear you. What is it called? Speak up so they can hear you. What is this aiming part called? The know. aiming part is called sights. So what do you do? You aim your sights, and you make sure the front of your sights is clear, and your target is blurred. Speak up so they can hear you. In the Make sure your sights are in the middle of... Ah, they can't hear you. Start, okay. start from the top. You said... What about the sights? Make sure the sights... The front of your sights are clear and your target is blurry and the front of your sights is in the middle of the, your back two sights. So, you said the front sight is in the middle of the rear sights and the front sight is clear and the target is what? Blurry. Okay, then what? Then what? How do you shoot the gun and make it hit the lens? Then you hold the gun tight and then you... When you're Speak ready, up so they can hear you. And then when you're ready, you're supposed to... Come on, speak up. You gotta have confidence. Confidence. Put your finger on the trigger and then... Show them and tell them. No, no, no. You gotta show them and tell them because you talk so low they can't hear you. Once you have your sights lined up, then what? You aim at your target and then you shoot by putting your finger on the trigger. How? They're, f they're five year olds. They don't know what you're talking about. Pull, your tri pull the trigger back. How do they do that? With your finger. How? You put your finger on the trigger and you pull Show it. them. Shh. Show them. That's my cat trying to come in here and disturb us. Be quiet. Be quiet. Alright, so what did you just do? I pulled the trigger back. Okay, how do you know you got a good shot? Because my, my target is blurry. Is that how you're supposed to be standing? Is that how you're supposed to be standing? Oh, yes, sir. Are you supposed to stand with your back to the wall? Oh, how do you shoot properly? I don't know. I want you to tell me. <laughs> I want to tell you. It's how stand. What are your shoulders supposed to be doing? Okay, I told you to teach them how to shoot. So the only way you can teach them how to shoot is to tell them properly. So tell them about how their body is supposed to be. You're supposed to, your shoulders supposed to be leaning forward and your arms supposed to be straight. And when you're not shooting the gun, you pull it in. Like, and you bend your elbows and pull it into your stomach like this. What's that position called? I don't know what the position's called. Called ready position. Do they have to pull it right there? No. What else can they do with it? What else can they do with it? What's that called? Position. Show them what you're doing. You gotta bring it up so they can see. Ready position. Okay. It's called a sole position. 
which is another ready position or relaxed position. He got his hands backwards, but he still understands the concept. Um, okay, what's another thing they can do with the gun? If you had it on. No. What, what could they do with the gun if they were not shooting it? Put it in the host. Speak up. Put the gun in the host. The host? <laughs> Put it in the holster is what you're trying to say, right? <laughs> All right, so run it through it one more time really quick. How do they shoot? So you got the gun. The gun is ready to go. Tell them from start to finish how to shoot real quick. Speak up so they can hear you. You lean your shoulders forward, grip the gun tight. Speak up. Aim your sights. Make sure your sights are lined up in between your rear sights. Make sure your front sight is clear. Make sure your target is blurry. Lean your shoulders forward. And then when, you, when you're when ready to shoot, put your finger on the trigger. And you pull the trigger. Boom! Alright, no flinching. Very good. Then what? Then when you're not shooting, you bring the gun back. It's called ready position. And another position you can do is, what is this called? Again? So, so position. you're going to shoot yourself with your finger on the trigger. So what do you do? You got to you tell them responsible okay. shooting. When, when you're not shooting, keep your finger off the trigger. And when, when you're not using your gun, put it in the holster. Very good, son. Thanks, sir. Can I have my gun back? How you handle gun properly to somebody? Tell me, tell them what you just did to me. Get it back. Get it back in a regular grip. Tell them how you handle gun safely to somebody. You face the muzzle away from the person. And then? How would you be holding if you were trying to handle me? Does it matter? Yes. <laughs> What's the most important part of you handing me that gun? What's the most important part of you handing it to me? Keeping the muzzle faced away from everybody. Speak up so I can hear you. Keeping the muzzle faced away from everybody. Alright, can I have it, sir? Thank you, sir. I'm going to check it again. Safety check. Alright, so as you guys can see, little man got a little uh, volume problem. He, you know, he like to talk a little. He didn't know he was going to do this. Alright? My point is here, so simple, my 10-year-old can do it now. Maybe look at him like, man, what the heck, you let him do that? Absolutely, I sure did. All right, 10 years old, if he can do it, a freaking 30-year-old can do it, 20-year-old, 21, 45, 50, whatever. All right, he just taught you guys how to shoot. All right, make sure you teach your kids responsible gun handling, responsible gun everything and then you don't have to worry about them being scared of dealing with a gun and they can effectively use the firearm. Did you see him flinch when I said boom? No. Alright? <clears throat> because he understands the concepts. Now, you guys go out there, y'all be safe. Y'all make sure y'all win the fight. Anything you want to say little man? You want to tell them how daddy didn't tell you about this and this is a not really. Can I total surprise to you? Yes, sir. He don't sound unbelievable, but I can tell you, this guy, whatever. You guys have a good one. Peace out.